A little over 17 years ago, I packed my sea bag, I folded up my American flag, I kissed my wife goodbye, and headed out with my Marine unit for Operation Iraqi Freedom. I grew up in a small town called Baden, North Carolina, which is about 80 miles southwest of Raleigh as the crow flies. I was very active, not only in scouting, uh, but in sports. I played baseball, played Little League, played softball, um, I uh, played football. So early on in my career, of course my father was, uh, was a Marine, you know, I felt that, uh, that need to serve the country. The first duty station I was hoping would be Camp Lejeune, but it ended up being 3rd Marine Division in Okinawa, Japan. My time in Okinawa was my first real time away from North Carolina. I'd been uh, for any substantial amount of time. And being out of the United States gave me a real appreciation for just how special our country is. So after 13 months in Okinawa, Japan, as part of 3rd Marine Division, I returned to the United States. So when I got back, I was stationed at Marine Corps Logistics Base, Albany, Georgia. Now in 1992, I asked Elizabeth to be my date for the Marine Corps Birthday Ball. Now the Marine Corps Birthday Ball is a very big deal to Marines every year. So Elizabeth came down to Albany, Georgia, and at that ball, I asked her to be my wife. So in 1993, Elizabeth and I got married, and that changed everything for me. And at that point, I made a decision to join the Marine Corps Reserves. I still wanted to be part of the Marine Corps and still wanted to serve my country, but I also wanted to have a family, and I wanted to have a civilian career. And what a unique blessing to be part of the United States of America, where we've got the freedom and we have opportunity to chase our dreams. And that was my dream, is to create a business that did things differently. So I continued to build my company as the CEO of Carolina's IT, continued to grow my family, and then 9-11 happened. When 9-11 happened, I was in my office in downtown Raleigh, and I remember one of my employees came in, and he happened to be a Marine, and he said, hey, you better pack your stuff because we're getting ready to go. In February of 2003, we hit the ground in Kuwait, serving as part of the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force that would lead the liberation of Iraq. For me, seeing that flag on that flagpole in the desert of Kuwait as we prepared to come into Iraq filled me with so much pride, not only to be a Marine Company commander, but to be part of the United States military, to be an American, to bring freedom and opportunity to another land. So I love our country. And when I see what's going on today in the world with the flag being burned, that flag that I served under, when I see the whole world that seems like it's been turned upside down and things that used to be important seem like they're no longer important, it makes me angry. My entire life of service has led me to this point, right here, right now. I'm ready to serve you the people of North Carolina in the State Senate. And as your Senator, I'll bring integrity, courage, and character back to North Carolina.